Geometry number 260, volume for rectangular or square prism. So, volume is space that is measured in cubic units. For a rectangle, we find the area with length times height. For volume of a 3D rectangular prism, we need to add width also. So, the volume is length times width times height. See, now we have depth to deal with, not just a flat piece of paper. This is what a rectangular prism looks like if it were to be unfolded. Here it is folded. If you were to unfold it, it would look like this. This would be the flat side that's sitting on the table. And then all these sides fold up. Here's another side, and then that's the top that comes over. It's almost like a... Have you ever seen a cake box opened up? That's what it would look like, okay? So, to find the volume of this, all we have to do is do length times width times height. If the length is 6 and the height is 6 and the width is 2, we just multiply those. 6 times 2 is 12. 12 times 6 is 72. So the volume would be 72 cubic units. If we had these little cubes, we could fit 72 of them in there, okay? Now, a square prism is basically just a hexahedron. It's a cube, see? The length is 6, the height is 6, and the width is 6. So because these are all the same, because it's a perfect square like a Rubik's Cube, think of a Rubik's Cube and how all those little squares are making up the Rubik's Cube. That's like square volume, okay? That's like cubic volume. All we have to do, in this case, because they're all the same, it's got the same formula of length times width times height, but these are all the same numbers. So because of that, and everything is all the same, we can just say volume V equals S th to the third power up here. See that? It's volume equals S cubed. That's how you would read that, S cubed. Or volume equals the sides cubed. It means that you're just going to put the length times the width times the height, the same number over and over and over again, 6 times 3 times 3. 6 times 6 is 36, and 36 times 6 is 216. So the cubic units on this would be 216. That's not very hard, is it? But what I would do is I would write down these formulas on the inside cover of your book so you can remember them and have easy access to them, okay? So volume for the cube is V equals S cubed, and for a rectangular prism, it's just LWH, okay? V equals LWH, like over here. I'm going to talk more about formulas in the next video, and we're going to do it for all right prisms, okay? So, triangular ones, everything, all right? So, if you want to catch that video, I'll see you there. Bye!